I've been talking about my pickups from the Los Angeles Convention in 2016. Had those sitting in the back, it's time to take a look at those. I do get to do Johnny Lightning videos because they help me and they provide cases so that I can do unboxing videos. This is an older release. This one is from uh, copyright 2002. So this one, uh, wow, this one's already 14 years old. Here's a different series that they had back then. Bought this off my friend, uh, forget that price. But uh, I told you that they helped me by providing cases for me to unbox. I have a playlist if you wanna check out the cases I have been unboxing. Here is the current product. As you see, it maintains the same style as the original Johnny Lightning packages uh, back in the 90s and even when they were back in 60s and 70s. Well, now that they've been reacquired, uh, they pick back up the same style. Playing Manus, I didn't even notice that on the package before. But anyways, here's a white lightning that I got from one of my unboxing videos. And uh, the first year, they're gonna go with the original style like this to where it's white body, white wheels. This is a, a, a nice, rare chase piece. They call them white lightnings, white body, white wheels. In the future, they might do different things like maybe white interiors or white base. But for now, they're doing, uh, they're sticking with the old po program. See how they had uh, white wheels and a white body. So uh, it was nice to pick up an older one at the convention. Once again, uh, check out that playlist if you'd like to see my unboxing video. Now, my, my unboxing videos, I should say. Now I picked this one up again from my friend. Now, this isn't, a, this isn't for me, this is for my daughter. By the way, this is a chase piece, but even though uh, it's a chase piece, M2s, and even uh, M2s are quite limited to begin with. At this time, I see that they weren't putting the production numbers on the packages. I'm not able to keep up with all their information. Now, I, I do still purchase things. I just don't have a chance to really incorporate them into a video to make a presentation. Now this one says only at Walmart, so uh, I don't know, most of the stuff is sold at Walmart anyways. But I like how they say that it's limited to 6,800 pieces worldwide. And when you look at this, and I know people don't, some people just look at them and say, well, they're too expensive. Well, they're expensive because they have lots of parts. I, I really like how they show on the back of the package, 42 individual parts comprise this vehicle. If I take a peek here, you got uh, headlights. Well, they have dual inserts, plus they have the chrome piece around there. It looks like it's a separate piece. Looks like it's a separate piece. You have chrome bumper, you have opening hood, opening uh, uh, tailgate, not tail, whatever, trunk. You got license plate, hey, chrome bumper. Look at the detail. It's decorations all over the place. They even put silver trim for the windshield wipers, silver trim around the windows. Uh, I believe they're pretty, I'm pretty sure M2s are all rubber tires. Now, look, 6,800 pieces worldwide, right? And people say, oh, that's expensive. Well, you know, look at all the parts that you get for the detail. This one comes in an acrylic case. So uh, I don't remember how much this was, $5, $6, you know, but Mattel make a treasure hunt, VW Bug. Oh, I'll give you five bucks for that. Oh, really? It's just, it's just a recolor of the same plastic, not plastic. It's a recolor of the same basic VW Bug in the Hot Wheels lineup. And for some reason, these are, these are manufactured in the tens of thousands. These are not limited by any means. This is limited to 6,800 pieces. And what are there? Um, there's like a few thousand Walmarts in the USA. That means there's only like a couple per store. These are these are pretty limited. Now here's another M2. I didn't have this in the back, but I did pick this up uh, again from my uh, friend. This is an, an, a sample of a, another sample of a chase piece. Uh, I don't know about this one. This is for my daughter, if I didn't say it, because she likes green. Um, but they vary their chases, how they do them. Sometimes they're Zamax. Sometimes pieces will be uh, gold chrome. But for this one, see how the wheels are cr clear. So the chase piece for this release, the wheels are clear. And the wheels are clear actually on the Camaros as well. Which is a little hard to see, but when you see it in person, you can tell that they're clear wheels. Here's the years of those Camaros. Just 
for you to check on. So I picked this up. This will make for a nice display. Get some of my M2s out for display. Let's see, what else do we have to share? So uh, just in the last week, uh, I picked up these. This is for me. This is for Amanda. This is for me as far as M2s go. Now these Monster Jams, uh, you know these uh, had the 2015 special editions. That, uh, I've heard people call them blackouts. I paid. I already found one. I found one in the stores. I, I gave some guy 15 bucks because I opened mine, so now I have one in the package still. Uh, because Mattel, they showed it on the back, right? Bec I didn't see any official information from Mattel as to these being chase pieces or whatnot because it looks like it's just one of the regular production one. But it did turn out to be hard to find. Maybe it was easier to find down in Australia. Uh, maybe these wound up in cases that just didn't get distributed in the United States. I'm not sure. But uh, the only one I found myself was a blackout grave digger. And I think they did four last year. I don't know how many are scheduled for 2016. Here I picked up, <coughs> excuse me, HD trucks. Let me get it back to the side here. I think the week before the convention, I was at Target, picked up this one. Here you have another green light piece. I love the, uh, I, lo I love things with the golf decorations. It looks fantastic. I like it. Let's see. What, when did I buy this? Maybe this was a couple weeks before. Here we have, uh, these are $9.99 for these two packs. Looks very nice. I like uh, Gulf releases and, and this this truck and this trailer. What a great combo. I like them very much. Uh, once again, see, I, was, I just was not able to put it in a video. I've tried to contact, I've had communications with Greenlight to try to work out some type of uh, agreement and uh, it, ha it, has, it has not gone smoothly. It just, I don't know, just doesn't work. I've tried. I spent so much time trying, it's like, uh, I can't, I'm tired of trying. International Dura Star Flatbed. Here's another Gulf release. By the way, there is a, a car. I forgot the name of the car, but there is a Gulf car that has been released. I need to get this motor home, too. Uh, what's, what's the name of that car that's been released? Uh, there is a car that's available in a single green light blister, and uh, it would go nicely with, with this uh put these up in a display look fantastic i look forward to it uh, i'm glad that i i bought this at the convention i've seen this in the stores i think toys r us i've seen it but the ones i've seen this the character right here it looked like he gets a little twisted in the package but this one it's not so bad it looks like when i take him out uh, it looks like he's going to stand straight up the other ones that i've seen it looked like he was a little crooked now that's why i have not bought it so far in the stores uh, the other reason is because, you know, I, I can take my time. I know I'll get it. And remember when you open these up, be careful. Uh, I accidentally broke off the tailgate on one, one of my uh, green light unboxing videos. I, they did provide something one time before. I did make a video. Um, but uh, as far as an ongoing relationship, uh, it doesn't seem like I'll be able to uh, get that done. But anyways, th these are my uh, miscellaneous brands picks up from the uh, convention and from, you know, like the week before, picking up some other stuff too. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.